that work? There you go. You good? I think so. Okay. No, you had it for a second. Good morning. Thank you. Let's try that again. <laughs> Good morning. On May 27th, 2016, Ms. Hurd walked into a courthouse in Los Angeles, California to get a no-notice ex-party restraining order against Mr. Depp. And in doing so, ruined his life by falsely telling the world that she was a survivor of domestic abuse at the hands of Mr. Depp. Today, on May 27th, 2022, exactly six years later, we ask you to give Mr. Depp his life back by telling the world that Mr. Depp is not the abuser Ms. Hurd said he is and hold Ms. Hurd accountable for her lies. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as you probably know by now, my name is Camille Vasquez. On behalf of Mr. Depp and all my colleagues at Brown Rednick, I want to thank you deeply for your time and your service over these last seven weeks. We understand that it probably has not been convenient for you to be here every day, and we are so grateful for your time and careful consideration of the evidence as you deliberate. After weeks of sitting in this courtroom, listening to testimony and looking at evidence, now it's time for you, the jury, to come to a decision. You have been entrusted with a serious task. What is at stake in this trial is a man's good name. Even more than that, what is at stake at this trial is a man's life. The life that he lost when he was accused of a heinous crime and the life he could live when he was finally vindicated. Exactly six years ago today, on May 27, 2016, Ms. Hurd walked into court and filed a false report of domestic abuse against her husband of 15 months, Johnny Depp. The scene was a setup. She tipped off the paparazzi so they would be waiting. They knew exactly where she would pause, which side of her face to photograph. And the photos captured what she wanted them to see, the image of a battered woman. What the paparazzi did not know is that the dark mark on her face mysteriously appeared six days after last seeing Mr. Depp. It was a lie. She knew it, Mr. Depp knew it, and the multiple witnesses you heard from who saw her that week of May 21st, 2016 also knew it. But the world only saw what she wanted them to see. Two years later, when promoting the biggest role of her career until this trial, Ms. Hurd presented herself to the world as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The headline of the op-ed featured the term sexual violence, even though she had never before accused her ex-husband of such a heinous crime. Ms. Hurd and her lawyers loved to remind you of how the op-ed did not mention Mr. Depp by name. But Ms. Hurd made sure that there would be no mistake about who she was referring to. She inserted, two years ago, so the world would remember the photo of a battered woman, the mark on her face standing outside the courthouse. And they would once again see Mr. Depp as the villain, this time in full swing of the Me Too movement. But what was happening behind closed doors was quite different from what Ms. Hurd presented to the world. The exact opposite, in fact. There is, a, there is an abuser in this courtroom, but it is not Mr. Depp. And there is a victim of domestic abuse in this courtroom, but it is not Ms. Hurd. The evidence presented at this trial has shown that Ms. Hurd is in fact the abuser, and Mr. Depp the abused. As you heard from Mr. Depp and multiple other witnesses that testified under oath at this trial, Mr. Depp experienced persistent verbal, physical, and emotional abuse by Ms. Hurd during their relationship. And when their relationship was over, Ms. Hurd inflicted the greatest and cruelest injury of all. 
she publicly and falsely named Mr. Depp as the abuser. Ms. Hurd never thought she would be held accountable, never thought that she would have to face her abuser. She never thought she would, never, she would have her supposed mountain of evidence vetted. She never thought that Mr. Depp would tell you, the jury, and the world that he was the real victim of domestic abuse. She said it in her own words. You can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the, ju see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. 